Thank you for sitting down with me today. Oh, it's my pleasure, Alexia. How are you today, darling? Good. What are we going to talk about today? Um, several different things. Several different things. I, I like that. I like that. Let's go. Let's get started. Okay. So your first question, how does it feel to go from player to coach in Legend, and how is it different in the clubhouse? How does it go from player to coach? And Legend. And Legend? Oh, yeah, that, that, that thing that runs and always loses? Yeah. Uh, well, it doesn't feel real good at all watching that guy run. He's the slowest. Like, I was a pretty slow base runner when I ran, but this guy's way slower than I ever was. But uh, I was lucky enough, Alexia, to play for 16 years in the major leagues. And it was, you know, you can sit here and say oh, it's awesome, it's great. And, and, it, and it is. It was, a, it was a lifelong boyhood dream come true. And, and then um, once I got into my mid to late 30s, there's an old saying, the old gray mare ain't what he used to be. Well, that's what happened. I got a little bit, uh, I got a little bit older than my competition, so I had to retire. So I went up to the broadcast booth for about seven years and uh, talked about it up there with Tom Brenneman and Darren Sutton and enjoyed that a lot too. And now the coaching part of it, I've been doing and I was in the minor leagues um, for, for a few years and now, now I'm up here and uh, it's, it's, uh, there's something about wearing this uniform, Alexia, that, 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 that a baseball player just really, really enjoys and really, really wants and needs. Even though you're the assistant hitting coach, do you ever mentor Goldie with all your experience at first base? Well, everything you see Goldie do on the baseball field, be it his first base defense or his hitting, that's all me. That's all me. I've taught him uh, really since uh, since his little league days. I remember I used to call him on the phone all the time. Uh, no, I tease. I, I didn't. Um, he's a special superstar player, and uh, sometimes the best thing a coach can do with star players like uh, like Goldie stay out of his way. Uh, I, I, I did ask him one time if he wanted any mustard on his sandwich that I was going to make for him or if he wanted any cream and sugar in his coffee. That's pretty much how you, how you coach uh, Paul Goldschmidt. Um, stay out of his way until things, go, until things go bad, and then when things go bad, uh, which is very rare for Paul Goldschmidt, then you might try to get involved. Okay. How does it feel to know that you've had such an impact on people's lives that they name their children after you? <laughs> well, I knew your family had really good taste when they named you after me. I, I love it. I'm, I'm flattered and, um, and and certainly humbled by it. And you know, I have a feeling there's going to be after after watching this. Uh, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of young mothers and fathers probably going to name their daughters Alexia after watching this for a while. Don't you think? I think you're going to have an impact too. Maybe. I think so. Okay. So this is a question I made up myself. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> this better be a good one. Okay. So, I'll be the judge. Why does a pitcher get a new ball every time it hits the ground, but not when it is hit into the field? You know, that is a really good question. And uh, baseballs, baseballs, when they hit the dirt, they get scuffed. They get scuffed, and uh, a, a scuff can on the on the baseball can make a ball. Uh, unknowingly dart that way or that way when it's thrown and a lot of times if uh, if a ball is thrown at 95 miles an hour and it's got a scuff on it that the pitcher might not know about you know it might run and then it becomes it, it might run into the hitter and then it becomes dangerous to the to the batter uh, you know possibly uh, running running so far that it, that it hits them and breaks a hand or breaks an arm or you know or god forbid get hit in the head something like that so i think uh more than anything when a ball gets scuffed up they try to throw it out but you know i i i think uh also yeah you're right when it gets hit uh, you don't see them throwing it out as much but sometimes a pitcher will get one back and ask for another ball good question though i like that one what kind of advice would you give kids that are learning to hit a ball i would say from little leaguers to high schoolers to uh, college players, minor leaguers, and even major leaguers. Listen to your parents and listen to your coaches. They're older than you, they're smarter than you, and they only want what's good for you. They're, they've got your best interest at heart. They're only trying to make you, and I'm not talking just baseball. I'm talking about in school, I'm talking about advice, uh, uh, and in just about anything you do, when you when you get a little older and you get a job and things like that, listen to your parents because they love you, 
and they're smarter than you. For even, though sure. you even though you might think you're smarter than your parents, there's a really good <laughs> chance you're not. But, but just do that. Listen to them and your coaches too because uh, they only want what's best for you, okay? Okay, and let's, last question for right. you. Other than baseball, what is your favorite game? My favorite game, I love to, uh, I, I used to be a basketball player when I was young, but uh, then I wasn't good enough to, to go on, but I love the game of basketball. Now that I'm in my 50s, uh, I can't quite uh, play those team sports like I used to, so I like to go out and play golf. Not in the summertime, it's too hot to play golf in the summertime, but I can take out a lot of aggression on that little white golf ball, and that's, so that's what I like to do. So true. Yeah, so true. You gonna have fun tonight? Definitely. Are you having fun so far? Definitely. So when you go up on the air um, with with Bert and Bob, Bob Brenly or whoever's up there today, just say the biggest and best part of your day was getting to hang out with Mark Grace. Okay. Can you okay. Do that for me? I will. All right, sweetie. Thank you so much. Thank you too. All right.